I need just to take this opportunity and ask you, what's your uh, uh, advice to the world? To I ask to the world. Uh, to to uh, yeah. understand Islam, understand the teachings of Islam, understand that the Islamic Jihad imperative comes from impulses within the Islamic faith and not from anything that results from American foreign policy or from Israel or from anything else that the Islamic faith teaches that Muslims must wage war against unbelievers and subjugate them, not because of their foreign policy, not because of anything they've done and not done, not because of their corrupt popular culture, but only because they are non-Muslims. And so that's always going to be there, no matter what we do. And so we should be interested in trying to defend ourselves and uh, maintaining a strong military as well as cultural and social front against this, rather than making more and more concessions all the time. Uh, for minorities, what's your advice for the minorities, especially in Muslim countries? Because when we're talking about minorities, we're talking about the minorities in Muslim countries, in Darfur, in Egypt, in uh, Pakistan, and all of them Christians. What's your advice to them? How can Very they... situation for them, because if they uh, protest too strongly, then they have to, uh, then they, they're putting their lives in, in danger, you know? And so it's a, they're in a very difficult situation. The only thing I can tell them is to never give up hope and to try at all times to call attention to the, uh, your plight uh, uh, on the part of the human rights communities, the human rights organizations. And uh, I try to do that also at Jihad Watch, calling attention all the time to the uh, difficulties and the persecution of minorities in the Islamic world so that uh, one would hope that the human rights organizations will start to put pressure on the governments. This is a very long-term thing and it's very difficult, but the main problem is awareness and there needs to be a, a great campaign to raise awareness in the West and uh, I'm doing all that I can and trying to enlist others at all also to uh, raise awareness about these issues in the West, which are so, uh, where they are so poorly understood. Uh, I have an, uh, I, I, I don't know if it is a stupid question or a weird question. Uh, if uh, the, the, the government leave uh, Muslim Brotherhood doing whatever they do in the United States, is there any time soon the United States people or the American people can, be, uh, can leave the, the United States and get out of it because of violence or what? Oh, I see. Well, I suppose that could happen. I think that it's much more likely in the short run that uh, there will be conflicts, that uh, the American people are not going to submit quietly to being conquered and Islamized. And the more uh, Muslims become assertive in the United States, the more it is likely that there will be resistance. Not vigilantism or violence, but uh, resistance on the legal level and the political level of the ballot box. And this game is by no means over or close to over at this point. Uh, the last question in uh, our uh, show about uh, Israel, uh, the great nation uh, who tries hardly to live among too many countries, Arab countries or Muslim countries, all of them don't like here to be there. How far you support Israel in their policy? I support Israel 100%. It's very important that anybody who is aware of the nature of Islamic Jihad supports Israel because Israel is on the front line of the global Islamic Jihad. It is not a struggle for peace, a struggle for land. It is solely a, a, a jihad. If, if we're not for the Islamic Jihad ideology, then Israel would have been in peace many, many years ago because it would have been able to make a negotiated settlement and that would have been good enough. Uh, the fact that no negotiated settlement has ever been possible is because of the nature of Islamic Jihad and the idea that the land belongs to the Muslims and has to go back to the rule of the Muslims. And so uh, every free person should be supporting Israel. Uh, I do support Israel. Uh, last point, do you like Jerusalem to be under Arabic authority or world authority or Israeli authority? I think Jerusalem is, is a city that is 
a very ancient Jewish city and should be under the rule of the Jews in Israel. It is uh, very clear from archaeological evidence that uh, they are the people who have been there all through uh, uh, history and uh, they were exiled at various points but always returned because they understood that it was their home and it ought to be recognized as such in the world at large. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of our show, we are pleased to be with the director of Jihad Watch and the author of 10 books, including the truth about Muhammad. We very pleased with this interview with Mr. Spencer, who has led seminars on Islam and Jihad for the United States Central Command, United States Army Command, the FBI and the U.S. Intelligence Committee. We're still looking for Mr. Sponsor in many, many interviews. We're glad to hear him all the time. Thank you very much for Mr. Spencer, uh, and we hope that you, uh, we, we need you to be with us all the time. Thank you again on behalf of all the minorities around the world. Thank you, Mr. Sponsor. Thank you, Nubia. Have a good day. And